Hey guys, it is Cheesy here, and today I am bringing you kind of like my thoughts on the new Vault Tech Workshop DLC. With over 150 hours of playtime on Fallout 4, I'm just going to be kind of reviewing the DLC and giving you guys my first impressions. I've already played through the quest portion of the DLC, and I've gotten about one hour into the building. I've never really enjoyed settlement building too much, but this DLC was pretty fun, and so I did enjoy the settlement portion of it. I haven't reviewed a DLC or given my impressions on it yet, so if you guys like this, leave a comment and maybe I could do more in the future when Nuka World comes out. So getting straight into the video, I'm going to talk about the one issue that I have with DLCs involving settlements, and that is, is it just like a mod? For example, with Wasteland Workshop, the first settlement DLC, I honestly didn't play it that much at all. I maybe spent... 15 minutes, not even 15 minutes to be honest, looking through the new items and there were times where I couldn't tell the difference between the items that I had from settlement mods and the settlement DLC. With contraptions, I honestly didn't play it at all because I felt no need with all the settlement mods I had. vault -Tec Workshop, however, was a bit different because there were some quests involved and it, there's a bit of like a storyline and there's a lot of lore behind it and so I always enjoy that. So I decided to try out vault -Tec Workshop, and I was honestly pleasantly surprised. The first thing that I really liked about this DLC was the quest part. The quests involved in this expansion were actually really fun to play, I genuinely enjoyed playing through them, and while they were somewhat repetitive, I still had a lot of fun. The quests themselves, however, only take about half an hour to complete, so that was kind of disappointing, but this is a settlement mod, so it was nice to see that there was even that much content. One part of the quest line, without spoiling too much, was doing experiments on a certain vault dweller. This was another favorite part of the DLC for me. The fact that you could kind of turn into an evil vault tech overseer was pretty cool, and it was a nice addition, in my opinion, to Fallout 4. You can't do anything too extreme, but once again, it's still really cool. On to the settlement building part of the DLC, I was really not that impressed. I spent an hour trying to build my vault, however, I ended up using mostly modded in settlement items, which was really a disappointment. The mod I ended up using the most was Build Your Own Vault, which is kind of ironic because this mod was released months ago, at least on PC, and so it's kind of odd that Bethesda would release a DLC which was very similar to it. Obviously, this version of Building Your Own Vault is a lot more polished because it's officially from Bethesda, but still, this mod once again was released months ago, and it's a pretty substantial substitute if you don't want to buy this DLC and you don't have the season pass. Besides the lack of items, I was really surprised when I saw how big the settlement really is. Particularly, there was a lot of vertical space, like you could really build high, and that's something new that I don't think Bethesda has really introduced us to yet. So for the settlement builders out there, this will give you guys a new experience and something that you'll hopefully enjoy. So those are all the main points I could draw from this DLC. The bottom line is that this DLC is not worth the standalone price. If you don't have the season pass and you really want to build your own vault and manage it, then I recommend that you check out the Build Your Own Vault mod, which is on PC and I'm pretty sure is also on Xbox One. vault -Tec Workshop has some really cool elements to it, but all in all, it's just mediocre. If the small quests or storyline were not part of this DLC, and it was just the settlement building, it honestly would be terrible. For those of you with the Season Pass, and are wondering whether this DLC is worth checking out at all, I recommend that if you like building, then you should, because there is a lot of cool and new stuff there. But uh, if you don't really like settlement building like me, then I don't really see a reason for you to check it out. There is some pretty cool quest stuff, so maybe check it out if you're kind of starved for quests like me. But all in all, it's not really worth your time. So that is pretty much it guys, thank you for watching, make sure to check out my other Fallout 4 videos, and to leave a like or drop a comment on what you think about this DLC. But for now I'll see you guys later, once again thank you for watching, and also subscribe for more Fallout 4 content, but for now I will see you guys later, bye.